Yes, Peter. Very good morning to all the students of class ninth D. We were doing descriptive paragraph yesterday, and we have done descriptive paragraph on person. We have also done descriptive paragraph on place. In detail, we have discussed this thing. Fine. And now we are going to uh, do this thing. So this is your revision. Let me tell you that we have done each and every topic of your syllabus. Now, nothing is left. Why this topic has been done already, uh, but only incident was not discussed. That I discussed yesterday as well. Okay, so now we will be doing event and incident. Yes, there is difference between the two because most of us confuse between event and incident. So please note down what are the events. Suppose any function was organized, you attended any ceremony, uh, any function. Fine, or uh, any exhibition. was there so that is considered event what is an incident like personal experience suppose you had one personal experience some incident hua aapke sath aap koi ja rahe the somebody snatched your mobile or chain in that way that incident happened with you you i witness some accident you were going somewhere or uh, any acquaintance had any incident acquaintance means any person you know suppose your brother uh you know had uh, you can say a bullying experience in the bus that incident happened that somebody bullied him in the bus and he cried and what happened after that any incident can be there so do not limit yourself it will always be an accident and all but it can be a good incident as well as a bad incident as well clear so uh somebody tied the dog outside your inside their house for four uh, days they went outside and you saw that dog was crying on the roof fine and how you helped write a descriptive paragraph about that that is also an incident it doesn't mean always accident will be there it can be anything fine so wider your thinking level broader your horizon of thinking it is not always a fixed this is not your class second or third that you will be getting only a place and person fine event and incidents can also be there in paragraph writing is that clear the difference between event and incidents please send me thumbs up for that then i will continue aur jo bachche abhi join kar rahe hai beta uh, or most of you have not sent your notebook to me after giving a lot of reminders even the five students you know tell, uh, told me yesterday that we will be sending our notebooks only dharya has sent it and one more child after that nobody sent me so please make sure if you are making promises you are making false promises to your teacher you have to send it whether uh, it is checked or not that is separate case right so uh, i'm trying my level best to send it side by side now i'm going to share the screen please have a look on the can you see the screen beta is it visible okay so question is you recently witnessed the world cup india south africa cricket match that was played in the city of nagpur describe that nail biting match you know start to finish it was nail biting match ka meaning kya hua can anybody tell me aap nail bite karte ho usme baith ke what do you mean by nail biting match anybody can tell me the meaning i will unmute you raise your hands let's see who knows the meaning of nail biting match Tithiksha, yes, Vita. Ma'am, it means that uh, we are very excited and about the thing. thing. Nail biting means. Okay, so Jatin. Ma'am, the match, the competition is very tough, and uh, there is fifty-fifty chance of winning. Yes, interesting one. I mean to say, fine, exactly. It is interesting. when match is zero there are there is a dire competition and having a lot of interest in it that means nail biting match clear 
स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज ज्वाइन वेल इन टाइम बीच बीच में चलता ही रहता है लास्ट तक ज्वाइनिंग हो रही होती सो वर्ल्ड कप मैचेस मेक द इंडियन पब्लिक यूफोरिया यूफोरिया इज दैट प्लेस व्हिच इज आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड यू नो इमेजिनरी लैंड सो दे आर सेइंग कि फर्स्टली एक कॉमन लाइन लिख दी उन्होंने वर्ल्ड कप मैचेस मेक द इंडियन पब्लिक यू नो थिंक इमेजिनरी and witnessing a match offers a two fold advantage one is witnessing the match and the other is seeing the public go mad ghar pe to sirf match dekhte hain but when you watch it live i will sitting in the audience it is like public also you are watching so i got uske baad aapne start kiya apna experience i got the opportunity to see the indian south africa match that was played at nagpur i had flown specially from mumbai to see the match uh, the stadium was packed to capacity there was not an inch of space each ball bowled by the uh, indian bowlers and each run scored by the indian made people who shout clap and wave the indian flag they have changed the paragraph beta aapne paragraph change nahi karna hai ek hi paragraph mein likhoge master blaster sachin tendulkar scored one 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 runs it was an electrifying performance watching it was sheer fun bowling of zaheer khan was also good और द होल आई ये दिस इज नॉट द गुड एडिंग इस पैसेज में लाइव को बहुत सारे मिल गए देखो डेटा दिया है उन्होंने प्रॉपर क्या क्या आपने देखा कैसे हुआ सो यू कैन ऑल्सो यू नो इंक्रीज द लेंथ बाय एडिंग अप मोर डिटेल्स इन टू इट दैट हाउ फाइनली इट वाज ओनली लास्ट बॉल एंड सिक्स रन्स वर लेफ्ट टू बी स्कोर्ड एंड इट वाज ओनली मास्टर ब्लास्टर सचिन तेंदुलकर Uh, who uh, hit the last six and made india one it was such a memorable match so in that way you have to describe the whole uh, experience in such a way clear so it can be anything i told you already kuch bhi aa sakta hai now ye dekhiye ye ye kya hai what is this the international women's day was celebrated in all parts of the world in great gusto as part of the celebration Women achievers were given awards by Rotary Club of your city. ये incident है कि event है. Who will tell me? Just a simple question I'm asking. Whether it is an event or incident. मैंने अभी meaning बताया आपको event and incident का. Is it an event or it is an incident? Raise your hands for that. जल्दी से thirty students and nobody is raising hand. Come on. Yes, Divya. Ma'am, it is an event. Yes, it is an event. ये कोई incident नहीं है. Event celebrated हुआ है. Then you have to tell that March eighth is celebrated every year as International Women's Day. The reason we celebrate this day is to honor women and to recognize their contribution to the family and society. Rotary Club of our city. The generally two lines written, but paragraph change नहीं करना है. Okay. Rotary Club of our city organized a celebration to honor some women achievers. Those honored included Kiran Bedi, the Match SA Award winner, Sharmila Tagore, the chairperson of the censor board, and Shabara Azmi, a women activist and a great actor. This is the true uh, designation, beta. Miss Bedi exhorted the young girls to repel and. Any untoward advances? Our vocabulary. Look here. What a vocabulary they have used. This is what is expected from a class ninth child as well. You have to write one paragraph, but you have to give the description to that extent that picture is clear. That what you want to say. Clear. See the vocabulary. Uh, then Miss Bedi exhorted the young girls to repel any untoward advances to them. She further said that the whole state machinery is with them. Miss Chagor asked the girls to study hard because it is education that will give them wigs or give them confidence. Miss Azmi advised the ladies to come forward and join the mainstream of the society. All these women pledged to work for the upliftment of the women for this country. It was such a memorable day. So in that way, you can tell. Okay. 
your school celebrated sports day or 20th february this is very casual you know aapko bahut baar kiya hua sports day that day annual day and foundation day of your school so this is just like aapka report writing yaad hai aapko that we have done last year or in the last term as well uh, report writing in which you used to narrate by using the past tense so similarly you have to write what paragraph in which you have to tell the date and data and who came over there and what was given to the people and all कौन से हाउस ने पार्टिसिपेट किया कितने बच्चों ने किया सो यू हैव टू गिव फैक्चुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन वन पैराग्राफ दैट इज ओनली योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ ऑफ इवेंट जस्ट लाइक अ मिनी रिपोर्ट दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द इवेंट अ सेमिनार ऑन हाउ टू अचीव सक्सेस वाज हेल्ड इन आवर स्कूल ऑन मंडे 600 पीपल फ्रॉम वेरियस वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ अटेंडेड इट स्पीकर आफ्टर स्पीकर गिव्स अ वैल्यूएबल टिप्स व्हिच इज इंप्लीमेंटेड इफ इंप्लीमेंटेड कैन हेल्प अस अचीव सक्सेस ये तो बहुत ज्यादा उन्होंने बेटा डिस्क्रिप्शन दी हुई है फाइन यू कैन ऐड अप मोर यू कैन से दिस इज सफिशिएंट सफिशिएंट बुक स्टॉल्स ई टेबल्स क्लासेस कौन कौन सी आई सो दिस इज जस्ट लाइक राइटिंग अ रिपोर्ट इज दैट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू बेटा हाउ टू राइट अ पैराग्राफ अब मैं आपको पैराग्राफ देने वाली हूं दिस इज लाइव पैराग्राफ राइटिंग नाउ गोइंग टू बी स्टार्टेड हियर right with the help of my students so please note down one statement and i will name the students as well they will answer it jin jin ki turn aa rahi hai to aap sochna shuru kar do sab ki turn aayegi but first passage is please listen to it carefully your school organized a workshop on spoken skills of english your school organized a workshop on spoken skills of english राइट अ डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ अबाउट द सेम तो एक वर्कशॉप ऑर्गेनाइज हुई है आपके स्कूल में इन विच दे टोल्ड हाउ टू स्पीक एंड टू कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड थिंग्स टू बी नीडेड वाइल स्पीकिंग एंड फाइन प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड ऑल सो दिस इज द वर्कशॉप इन विच यू नो प्रैक्टिकली दे टीच यू हाउ टू डू द थिंग्स what is the difference between seminar and workshop seminar is in which only lecture is given to you workshop is in which practical implementation is there kuch kisi ko bula ke unhone bulwaya hoga kuch task diye hoenge to make something and all that is workshop <coughs> so your school organized a workshop obviously koi special person aaya hoga as a chief speaker or any teacher or uh, guest and what was there in the content that you have to speak okay firstly tell me voluntarily who wants to participate in this paragraph writing hum abhi banayenge paragraph iske upar with the help of all the students who wants to participate in this raise your hand otherwise i will to choose the students na that is my choice i will choose to so, sabse pehle first line hame dene wali hai harmeet kaur right a workshop was organized on spoken skills of english in your school write a descriptive paragraph of the same to ye event aapka ye event hai ye incident nahi hai okay after that bhavansh harmeet ke baad bhavansh your turn will be there i'm just choosing then jia jaydev and then finally mere panch bachcho ke name liye fine finally uh, end up karegi isko riyanshika chali now immediately you know they they are going to leave the meet only so harbeet will start bhavansh will continue and then jia and jaydev and then riyanshika okay chali let's harbeet let's start how to start this paragraph writing please give one to two lines in the beginning 
those who will not speak they are absent for me riyashika wants to start harmeet i have given you chance to speak you are not unmuting yourself harmeet kaur you are unable to unmute why so you can write in the chat box as well jaise abhi likha hai to line hi likh do i will speak abhi aapne likha hai i am unable to unmute so you write your message in the chat box i will speak for you okay riyashika aapka conclusion hai so firstly harmeet has to give us first line it is very easy to unmute itni der ho gayi hai abhi online classes lagate hue abhi bhi hame ye nahi pata lagega how to unmute and how to mute that is our fault main aapko dobara se mauka deti hu see i asked you to unmute aapke message aaya hoga the host wants you to unmute so you can unmute easily if you want to speak if not then please type in the chat box please be gadget friendly by now aise to bahut zyada bacche chala rahe hain mobile and all but in this thing you are still learning this will i will waste the time anybody else who wants to start anybody else who wants to start riyanshika yes riyanshika english is the universal language learning english and being able to communicate in english provides an array of opportunities it has become a must today so our school organized a workshop on spoken english apne pura suna da riyanshika if you are willing three lines already riyanshika and i have written only this much you have already written yes ma'am very good okay just share with us okay go on from the beginning Ma'am, I have written only three lines. Okay, you have written three lines. Okay, do you think about the conclusion as well, Riyanshika? Is that then I move to Bhavansh? Three lines are given by Riyanshika already. She has spoken about the importance of English language. Bhavansh, अब आपकी turn है. If you want to give answer or not, time waste नहीं करना है. मुझे बताते जाओ. Our school organized dash. चलिए बोलिए. I'm helping you out there. Even the new people are not ready to participate. Bhavansh has not given answer. I'm marking everything. Now we have uh, uh, Jia and Jaydev. Jia, would you like to answer? Yes, Jia is also ready to answer. Yes, Jia. This workshop would be very beneficial for the students as it will help the students to use new vocabulary words. But they would be able to write. This will be no, no, no. Wait, wait. This has been conducted already. Fine. So, I am going to tell you that what happened in the workshop. This will be very beneficial. ये नहीं बताना because आपने attend कर ली है. You have to write one paragraph about this. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, may I speak before the conclusion? Okay, you want to conclude it? Who else is there? Yes. Now I'm going to unmute the willing ones. Yes, beta, bolie. Currently, ma'am, three of the three. Three winners were announced after the workshop. Who were uh, who prepared very well in their give it a try in the things they have participated. See in the things they have uh, participated. First prize. So I'm uh, I'm just trying. That when you give out of the way, when you give something new. apart from annual day foundation day and such uh, prize distribution ceremonies ye bahut ho chuki hai so when something that new is given to you uh, you people get stuck why because we do not read much we do not have knowledge about the things much what is a seminar what is a workshop what to write so it's just like writing a report it's that easy i can speak up right now 10 to 12 lines it will be done 
but see i'm not getting that uh, particular response anybody else who has written about this thing or who would like to speak or shall i continue raise your hands i'm giving chance to each and every child karanveer has written some lines but karanveer uh, that is uh rather than writing the functions uh, the contest it is not a contest it is workshop contest so there is competition workshop started at 10 am he has given written that and then uh, stage and all no, rather than telling about the decoration and all beta our concentration should be what was the content of the workshop usme kya sikhaya gaya that is our main purpose nobody else is using the brains all are sitting or sleeping work think speak only then your work will be visible to us let me give you one example fine as the ashika said that uh, english is international language fine means you have to write any two to three lines about it telling the importance of english language because the spoken skills of english native english speakers of yes riyanshika you write down your whole passage by the time i will share my uh, words fine then you will also speak okay jia and riyanshika just wait so i'm going to tell uske baad aap dono ne apna apna version jitni lines aati hai you can speak so though both of the girls are, are like interested in speaking so let me tell you what to write english is uh, uh you can say an international language which is spoken in almost every each and every part of the world considering this importance our school authorities organized a workshop on spoken skills of english language last saturday right तो आपने ये बता दिया कि इतनी इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड अवर स्कूल अथॉरिटीज दैट्स व्हाई डिसाइडेड टू फाइट देन टेल हु इज uh dr rashmi was invited that as the chief guest speaker of the day to enhance the spoken skills of students a team of two academicians of english language were also invited to engage students in many activities to improve their vocabulary as well right many activities like paper presentation debate uh then you have extempore fine kitne genres hai english mein debate hota hai extempore is the on the spot when topic is given paper presentation is there uh then you have essay writing uh fine Uh, many genres of english uh, literature were discussed as well as uh, many new words of pronunciation were also discussed with all the students then dr rashmi presented a slide show on uh, position of the tongue while speaking some words right was presented a slide presentation was also presented by the chief guest or you can say by the team of uh, uh, you can say speakers showing that how words are pronounced not only that they also stressed upon the importance of communication in everyday life at the end mrs uh, shobha the chief speaker also uh, discussed about uh, you can say commonly used vocabulary right anything spoken skills mein kya aata hai vocabulary and uh, how to pronounce the words fine mannerism and communication skills and these kind of things so aap pehle base banao ki acha mera workshop iske bare mein aur iske bare mein karwaya hoga so many activities were organized many words and riddles were given to students many students were uh, speaking and participating and they came on stage and they got prizes so it was overall 
uh, very relishing experience in which we got to learn a lot of new words along with their pronunciations. We also got to, uh, they also taught us about a telephonic conversation and how to write professional emails, etc. Right? Spoken skills are less than writing. Kab likhe aayenge isme, but spoken pe zada hum stress karenge. Okay? So overall, it was really a learning experience. That's all. So you have to write ten to fifty lines on what was done in the workshop. Rather than ab kya bata rahe? Mujhe jo answers likhe aare chat box me. You are writing that function started at this thing. At this time, stage was decorated. That is different when you write a report. In descriptive paragraph, you have to give the best in few words. You know, ten to fifteen lines you have to write, but it should be the clear description of that event, clear description of that incident. Right? अब जैसे मैंने अब event describe करा एक workshop का, it can be any Chain snatching incident. Suppose recently you were going to school, you I witnessed an incident of chain snatching. Uh, describe it in a paragraph. So then, उसमें क्या लिखोगे? That recently I had a terrible experience of my life in which I saw a thief uh, snatching a robber or thief snatching is uh, snatching chain uh, from an elderly woman who was going on rickshaw. Right. That uh, firstly, that woman was buying vegetables. This is the incident. Right. And was standing. And then she took rickshaw. And I was also nearby, buying vegetables from the same place. She also asked me to help her while uh, you can say sitting on the rickshaw. That's why I remember the that lady's face. Or you can say I I just uh, uh, was interested in knowing that how she's fine going on all. So uh, then. That suddenly from nowhere that snatcher came and snatched the chain, and that lady fell from the rickshaw. I helped her in getting up along with other people nearby. Even she shouted for help, and a young boy on bike ran to uh, fight that thief, but of no use. Fight a police complaint was filed there and then by the woman. Police came within minutes. They asked about the appearance of the stature. Even I helped the women in recognizing, or you can say, in uh, in explaining the detail of the stature. Police noted our uh, details and uh, our, you can say, uh, the description of the. And then we left. Uh, it was such, a, but at the last, the lady was saved. That was. The good thing that uh, it did not hurt her, clear. So in that way, incident me, I have to tell you this. Clear. You participated in a play at the National School of Drama, and uh, finally you got a role to be telecasted on television. Write a paragraph about it. Anything can be there. So, Priyashika, have you written your paragraph? Would you like to speak? Anybody would like to speak? Jia, Riyashika, any other child? So Jia has raised hand. Yes, Jia, speak. Yes, ma'am. The English teacher that conducted the workshop was very experienced. It was really interactive and focused on further development of students in English language. The teacher also asked a few questions, and the students gave all the answers correctly. It was really enjoyable for everyone present there. She showed how to pronounce different words in different accents, like British and American accents. It was knowledgeable and created a confidence in students. to use new vocabulary words and also ask them to learn at least one new word every day that's very good. very good so this is what how do you write to descriptive paragraph so it was such a learning experience a great experience so well done jia for uh, speaking or uh, describing this okay so beta uh, yes time ho chuka hai so we won't be able to uh, 